Crunch Bites is back again. Um, this time we have a question we're answering from Polycount. Uh, the, the thread there from Mike Zhu. Uh, what's a better way to market yourself for a new job? Uh, basically referring to online presence and whoring yourself out, as he put it. Uh, John, you want to start with that since you got the notes? <clears throat> sure. The very first thing I'll say is most people are not in a perpetual looking for a job kind of state. And uh, a lot of the time, as soon as they need something, then they start rejoining forums and they start pinging people only when they need something. And while it's impossible to keep up constant effort all the time, 24-7, like for you know social media and being out there, I think everybody in games owes it to themselves, especially with the way the industry is, to at least spend a couple hours a week always being involved just to some extent on something and always communicating with people. Because if you just come out of the woodwork, all of a sudden when you need something from somebody, you're not going to get very many results. And so many people do that. I mean, you've seen that. Oh, absolutely. I feel like I'm kind of doing that now, but I'm not at all. I've been very, <laughs> very busy with other things. <laughs> yeah, you have a hit cooking show. Woo. Um, as far as just... Uh, well, I, I wrote down a few notes. I'll just go through just a little chunk. And please jump in um, wherever you see uh, fit. Um, just start picking short-term achievable personal projects to start doing. Just like uh, uh, pick a scene from a movie you like or find some cool inspiring concept or cool, um, uh, you know, cool photography. Just find something that you can just crank out in like a week or two. Then just go into a forum and then just post what you're doing, or like a post what you're going to do, and then just start updating. Keep cranking away at it. Don't make it a big month, multi-month long thing. Make it something you can do and push stuff out in and show people you doing things in progress. Now, I've talked a lot of crap about Tumblr uh, as being a portfolio, but I actually do like Tumblr as like a work log. Just, you know, here's a work in progress shot. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking of doing next. Whenever I find artists that have those that are good, I actually really enjoy going through that kind of detail. So that could be kind of cool. But yeah, it's nice to find a good Tumblr every now and again. I mean, really? I don't use it, but it's very popular. So that's the thing. Um, and one thing about the achievable short-term projects, I usually tell folks is, uh, more environment-wise uh, because it can take a little bit longer to make a really nice scene. I'll say, like, every month you should at least do something. Yeah. As in, by that I mean a portfolio quality piece, right? So then you could have up to 12 pieces a year. Oh, totally. And just, just that idea just keeps things fresh, keeps you going, keeps you in front of people. Uh, I'm actually doing that right now. I just started my August project, just another UDK level. This is eh, what I like cool. to do. It's fun. Anyway. Oh, that's awesome. It's, uh, yeah, just doing that, getting out there, talking to people, communicating, collaborating. Uh, just even if you only spend like half an hour a day, just like dicking around the poly counter Facebook or something, just make a point to just reach out and just compliment people, give them feedback, just be cool, be friendly, yeah. just be there. Like the I'll, I'll use the bar analogy. Just you know, just be that cool uh, that cool guy you see at the bar. You may not always talk to, but you know, whenever he's there, uh, he's friendly enough to chat with. And you know, if he's around, hey, cool. If he's not. Not a huge deal, but you know him because you've seen him there and you've had a couple interactions. Like, you want to be the guy that's sort of you know just doing stuff, hanging out, not making a big deal of anything. But he's still there. He's not just popping up when you need something. I can't emphasize how much that is lame and how obvious it is to people. <laughs> yeah, and if you're regularly regularly posting on forums like say Poly Count, uh, and you have a signature, and in your signature is your portfolio link. Ooh, yes. And there's there's so many more chances people are just gonna see it and click it. I do that all the time, especially with somebody I don't know, and they're like, make a big post. I'm like, who is this guy? And click on their portfolio and go, oh, no. Or, or a lot of times you'll click on it and be like, oh, rad, this guy, he's, he knows what he's talking about. So that's gonna be great. And then maybe you can you you can build relationships like that for one. Absolutely. But, and don't just go out there and try and impress people and don't act like you're just, uh, you know, ticking a box. Oh, yeah, not, like, not, not some big shot, yeah. Yeah. It, it's not like, all right, I said my thing to the little people for the day. Don't do that shit. There's just, always that thing where when someone makes a big art dump, like that, say a major game from one of the top artists makes a post. And they're like, here's the art dump from fucking Gears of War or Bioshock Infinite. Everybody's going to reply with, like, sweet, cool, so that's oh, yeah. that's that's also a good place just to be seen. 
it sounds no. stupid, but if you reply Just, to that earlier, people are going to see your name. And it might go viral and end up on a news page. And then they're like, oh, who's this guy? It sounds stupid, but it's a little thing you can do. Don't abuse it, though. Yeah, it is. I mean, just, yeah, and just be seen, but be cool. I mean, be some guy that, you know, adds a little something to everything, whether it's, you know, helpful, like generally helpful uh, feedback or just complimenting someone on something or just asking intelligent questions. Um, Just pay attention to what's going on in the news. If you want to, like, one good way of kind of getting your name out there is, you know, uh, read news sites. Uh, Find an interesting article about a, you know, a uh, new company opening up, or new job openings, or yeah, I know you're you're very uh, like big into that. I would say, as in you like to tweet or Facebook, say, oh, look at this job opening, or hey, look at this cool article, and that's that's a great way just uh, for people to find you as well. I, I find that I'll get three or four like I got three or four followers on Twitter the other night just because I was looking up um, some new horror games. And I tweeted about, oh, this looks cool. And all of a sudden, everybody's like retweeting that and stuff. And I got more followers just because I'm talking about games. That's just how awesome. it works. Totally. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get in conversations on Twitter as well. Just yeah, just be the guy that brings cool stuff out. Like like you said, I I actually spend an enormous amount of um, going through news and forums and information and posting like the best of what I have that nobody else has. And I mean, I'm not looking for a job. I love my job. I'm very happy doing it. But that's just a part of me, just kind of always being out there, always being present. It, I mean, it helps my job day to day because I know better, know more about you know the state of the art, the industry, and what's going on there. And if anything were ever to happen, uh, which I, I well, knock on wood, nothing, nothing will. I will have already been there, doing stuff, interacting with people. I'm already out there. I'm the guy people are, are already know is there. All of a sudden, you know, like, oh, hey, well, actually, I'm looking for work in that example. Like, that's – in in my mind, I'm trying to sort of live the ideal state uh, of that uh, for what that's worth. But you don't have to spend nearly as much time as I do on that kind of thing. Yeah, seriously, just read the news, post some stuff, reply to people, just interact, and do it before you need it. Right. If your game's a couple months away from shipping, update your portfolio, uh, yeah. update the rest of the day, and start putting yourself out there. I remember when you told me once or – I don't know. You, it was probably one of your general things you say. You said, uh, update your portfolio quarterly because that's when hammers drop. Yes. So that's that's something to think about. But uh, yeah, so Twitter's really good. Um, Facebook as well. It's pretty nice for you know putting out information. But be careful about don't just talk about crap. Don't be annoying. <laughs> don't post wall of text. Don't use twit longer because that defeats oh, the whole purpose. Makes you look like an idiot. Uh, online yep. community forums like Polycount, those are great. Yeah, well, what else is he at? LinkedIn. What's your thoughts on LinkedIn? I, I like it all right. Um, I, I think LinkedIn is incredibly valuable. And if, if you're not doing business development type stuff, it may not seem as immediately relevant or useful. But I think that is a perfect example of what you're saying about just showing up, of being there, being seen. I like Always that new had- recommendation button they got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and um, it's like getting and giving recommendations for people uh, is. Eh, some people think it's useless. Some people think it's helpful. I mean, I, I personally like them, but I know how to spot a how to spot a bad one when it's just like everybody thinks there's going to be a layoff, so everybody is you know giving everybody else recommendations, and that makes it seem less serious. But still, having solid recommendations from a lead or something can't hurt. But, oh, I mean, the actual written recommendations versus the actual button that says uh, I recommended for texturing or whatever. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, the written recommendations is what I was talking about. Yeah, okay. recommending for texturing. Oh, yeah, that's stuff. Because the button, as cool as that is, I like getting those little emails where it's like, oh, all these people recommended you for fucking modeling or something. But there was, I know I've joked about this on a Crunchcast before where I was recommended for traditional animation. <laughs> By somebody, <laughs> and it's really, I've never really done traditional animation. And by, when I think traditional animation, I mean like drawing, like flip oh, yeah. card kind of stuff. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. That's how little I know about animation. No, that's it. Uh, yeah. I've, I've gotten that before, too. Uh, and the other day I got recommended for um, Handsoft, mm-hmm. which, uh, for those that don't know, is um, the Swedish project management software that is extremely technical, extremely complicated. Interstellar telescope programming. It's, uh, it's it, oh yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, I, I I've only used it a couple times, but that's the only time I've ever taken a recommendation off my page because I don't want people to think that I want to use it. 
That's fair. Uh, you know, at LinkedIn, I remember a long time ago, we kind of, when that first came around, remember back when we were racing for contacts? Like, you know, yeah. Years ago when it first started, and uh, gosh, after you get a few hundred of people you know, it's like, geez. And you start, but I, I've loved LinkedIn because I can look back at it and find people I've worked with before and be like, oh, here's that guy. What's he up to? And just click on it. So, oh, he's doing this now. That's cool. I kind of like that. Like you said, that kind of showing up and being there and knowing what people are up to. That's really nice. Um, oh, yeah. It's a great way to be found as well. That's yeah. why having, um, having your LinkedIn up to date and your like title up to date, like, you know, like a Bill Billerton environment artist, uh, like when you view people's profiles on the side, there's a little recommendation box saying people who viewed this profile also viewed. So if someone else is looking at another environment artist, your name can pop up there if your LinkedIn is up to date. Right. And one quick note I wanted to make actually about um, keeping your LinkedIn up to date. Some people know this, some people don't, but when you update it, by default, it um, LinkedIn broadcasts that you've changed stuff. So to an employer or other people, it could look like you're looking for a job. They've made it easy now to disable that. On LinkedIn, just go to privacy and settings. And then under privacy controls, you'll see turn on slash off your activity broadcasts. Before you update anything, change uh, change that so you're not broadcasting. That's kind of nice. And it's also really smart to know along with that line, don't announce unannounced projects on LinkedIn. This has <laughs> destroyed people's careers. Like when, oh. I forgot how many times I've seen where like some like site like Kotaku or something picks up someone's LinkedIn about some game that was unannounced or whatever and then they're linking this guy's profile and like, oh look, he's he's this guy's working on Halo Seven. Or you know, some some crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Uh, that's happened like two or three times in the past couple of weeks. I posted about one today. Uh, some guy announced a new Forza game in his LinkedIn profile. And honestly, I I think we all have to accept that games journalism has gotten to a point, that was, as shitty as it is for the most part, where they will try, they'll go through LinkedIn and read through everything and try and find stuff to make news out of. So you have to be really damn careful. You don't want to be the guy that broke the news on some huge new title. Like, I, yeah. um, I've, I've actually had... Uh, my LinkedIn posted on Kotaku before after I had gotten laid off and um, uh, very, very scary things happened after that. Nothing bad, but threatening enough that um, it was made clear to me that if I wanted to have my severance, uh, I can never speak about that project or show anyone anything or even admit that I actually worked on it to anyone ever, forever. Oh, absolutely. I, there's been stuff I've worked on where I wanted to talk about it, but I had to, I waited. You, you, you know, wait a couple years, then it's cool. Don't go blabbing so fast. Canceled and never announced. Yes, that kind of stuff. That, that's the thing. But yeah, when it comes in front of Kotaku, everything looks a lot, everything got a lot worse. And they, they so blow stuff up. I'm not really a big fan of that site, to be I honest. I hate Kotaku, but everybody... They, but everybody links it. <laughs> no, I know. I fucking hate that. But yeah, LinkedIn, you really got to be damn careful about how you advertise what, and if, if you're really, really unsure about it, ask a lead. And just to be real quick to clarify, the uh, one quick disadvantage of all this social media and stuff is uh, don't be a dick on it. The same way as don't leak info, because there's people have lost jobs because like there's that one guy whose account was found on Reddit or he was on Reddit just being an, a jerk to everybody he could and so that got back to his boss and they fired him that's totally unrelated to games totally different industry but that's the reality you you just be a nice person don't be such a cunty person online there's no reason to to think you can say things about people and hide behind anonymity is that how you pronounce that word I'm, yeah. I'm the worst. I stumble around my tongue and teeth all the time. Um, <clears throat> but beyond that, uh, online tutorials, articles, information that you can put out, uh, like a good <laughs> a YouTube channel with video tutorials and stuff like that. Oh, obviously that works great for me. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts? No, I think um, getting content out there like that is great. Um, 
I think if you want to uh, if you want to turn what you're doing to more like a, a PR public relations marketing platform kind of thing, one thing you could do is just start doing like um like a weekly sketch uh, sketch night thing like on Google Hangouts or live stream uh, some yes, stuff. Live streaming. If you do something regular, people will regularly come back. Very good for marketing yourself. Uh, Hazardous does it. A lot of people do it. It's great. And the Hangouts, the Google Hangouts are great. I've met so many people in there. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, get get on that circuit. Just get talking to people. Like really, like finding a new job and other stuff happening is just all about being out there, being present, talking to people, and interacting. That's. Uh, that, I think that I think that wraps it up. What do you think? Yeah, I I, I think that was uh, concise. Yeah. Cool. Just so. Thanks, Mike. Sue. Anything else? Nah, I'm good. All right. Cool. John Jones, Chris Holden, Crunch Bites. Thanks, guys.